Vansh and Puneet started walking from two different positions A and B respectively. Vansh walks 3 km north and turns to east and walks 4 km and again turns to north and walks 2 km and finally turns to east and walks 4 km to reach point C. Similarly, Puneet walks 3 km north and turns to west and walks 4 km and finally turns to north. north walks 2 kilometers and meet Vansh at point C. What is the distance between Vansh and Puneet's starting positions? Whenever you have questions on directions, always draw the direction diagram so that you don't make any mistake. This is north, this is south, this is east and this is west. Now let us start with Vansh. What is Vansh doing? Let us assume Vansh is starting from this point. So Vansh is starting from here and he is going 3 kilometers north so he is going 3 kilometers in this direction and then he turns right to east he is turning to east east is this direction he is turning to east and he is walking 4 kilometers and then he is again turning to north and he walks 2 kilometers and he finally turns to east and walks 4 kilometers and he is reaching a particular point C what is Puneet doing Puneet is again walking 3 kilometers north, turning to west and again turning uh, turning to north and finally walks 2 kilometers and again he, Puneet also reaches this point C. Now let us try to see in which direction Puneet has walked. So here based on the given information, it is said that initially Puneet is walking 3 kilometers north. I don't know which is his starting point, so I am just assuming that Puneet's starting point is here. Okay, I am just writing down the given information and I am just going to draw the figure. Uh, assuming that Puneet is starting from this point and what is Puneet doing? He is walking 3 kilometers north and then he turns west and walks 4 kilometers and then he turns north and walks 2 kilometers and he is meeting one shit point C. So this is point C. Now let me, so both of them are meeting at point C. So I am going to join both of these people. So basically Puneet, this diagram has to come here so that it meets at point C correctly. So what is the path that has been followed by Puneet? So this is the path that Puneet has followed and this was his starting point. So this is the starting point of Puneet. He is travelling 3 kilometers north, then travels west 4 kilometers and then travels 2 kilometers north and he is meeting Vansh. The question is what is the distance between Vansh and Puneet? Both Puneet and Vansh are meeting at the same point C and if you see the vertical distance right here the distance is 2 on both sides and this distance is also 3 on both sides. So basically this starting point of Puneet and Vansh is on the same straight line. We have to find out what is this distance. How will you find out this distance? You know this is 4 correct. See I am just extrapolating these lines. So this is 4, this is also 4 and this is also 4. This distance are 4 each. 4 plus 4 plus 4, 12. So the distance between Vansh and Puneet will be the starting point. The distance between the starting point of Vansh and Puneet will be 12 kilometers. That is option B. Next question. If P denotes multiplication, R denotes divided by M denotes subtraction and S denotes addition, then the value of 24 R 8 S 7 M 2 P 5 is dash. How will you solve this? Just put in the correct symbols as per the, uh, as per the given letters. If it is R, what is the symbol that you have to use? Divided by 8 S means addition, 7 M means subtraction, 2 uh, P means multiplication 5. So this is the expression that we have and we have to solve and get the answer. Whenever you have questions involving divisions, multiplications, additions and subtractions, always do the divisions first followed by the multiplications and then the additions and the subtraction. For this question do not find out what is 8 plus 7 first, you will go wrong or do not find out what is 7 minus 2 first, you will make a mistake while solving always do the divisions and the multiplications first. So let us start with this. What is 24 divided by 8? 24 divided by 8 is 3. So I have 3 plus 7 minus here 2 multiplied by 5. What is 2 multiplied by 5? That is 10. 
So, 3 plus 7 minus 10 that is equal to 10 minus 10 which is equal to 0. The answer for this question is option D 0. Select a figure from the options which satisfies the same condition of placement of dots as in figure X. Let us look at the question figure here. There are two dots. If you look at the first dot, this is the first dot. What is so special about this first dot? This first dot is contained only in the circle and the triangle. The first dot is actually not inside the square. It is actually outside the square. It is inside only the circle and the triangle. Similarly, if you look at the second dot, this is the second dot. The second dot is inside the triangle and the square alone. It is not part of the circle. So that is special about these two dots. Now in the option figures also you have to check whether I can place a dot which will satisfy these two conditions. That is I have to place a dot which will be there inside the circle and the triangle alone but not inside the square. Will I be able to place a dot like that? Similarly. Can I place a dot which will be inside the triangle and the square alone but not inside the circle? So let us check with the options. I am looking at the first option now. Here uh, first I need to find out uh, if, I, if I can place a dot between us uh, that is within a circle and a triangle alone. So here if you see I have this region correct. See this region. Here in this region that I am shading. Definitely I can place a dot and that dot will be part of the circle and the triangle alone. It will not be part of the square. There is no other place where I can keep it. This shaded parts. But these, these two shaded parts I can keep the first dot. Now second I have to find out if, I, if there is a region where I can place a dot in such a way that it will be within the triangle and the square alone. Definitely this region here. Let me just uh, sh uh, shade it with another color so that it is clear to you. See this region here. This region is between only between the uh, triangle and the square and it is not part of the circle. So at this point I can place the second dot. In option A so definitely I am able to place the first dot and the second dot. So obviously option A has to be my answer. But for our understanding let us see why the other options are wrong. If you look at option C. Again, if I have to place the first dot, I need a region which is only within the circle and the triangle. Yes, that is there here. Na? So definitely I can place the first dot here within the circle and the triangle alone but not within the square. Now, to place the second dot, I need a region which is within the triangle and the square alone. Is there any region like that here? No. The triangle and the square actually they don't have any common region among them. So I am unable to place the second dot in this option C. That's why it is going wrong. Similarly you can check with other options also. If you again check with option D. Here uh, there is no intersection between the triangle and the square or there is no region which is common to the triangle and the square together so that I can place the second dot. I am unable to place the second dot here. So this is not my correct answer option. And now if I look at option uh, B. Here how can I place the first dot? The first dot has to be placed in a region which is common only to the circle and the triangle but not the square. But here the circle itself is inside the square. So anywhere I place within the circle it will be inside the square also. So I will this condition will not be satisfied. I cannot place the first dot. So this is also not my correct answer. Correct answer option here is option A. Arrange the given words as they occur in a dictionary and select the correct answer option. Which is the word which will come first in the dictionary? It has to be faint. Which is the word which will come second in the dictionary? It has to be fault. Third will be fight. Fourth will be flick and fifth will be freak. So what is the order in which the uh, given words will appear? The first one will be the third word that is given here followed by the fourth word, third word, fourth word followed by the first word that is given here followed by the fifth word followed by the second one. 
So the correct answer here is 34152 which is option C. Select a figure from the options which will complete the given figure matrix. What is the pattern that has been followed in these figures? Let us identify the pattern. There is a triangle here in the first figure. There is a triangle here in the second figure. In the third figure, both the triangles from here and here, both of them are drawn together. Similarly, here you have a quarter of a circle. Here also you have quarter of a circle. Now, in the third figure, both these quarters are combined and drawn together as a half circle. Similarly, here you have a square on top, here you have a square in the bottom. So, in the figure that will come next, how will it look? Both the squares should be drawn together. So, it will be like this. Which is your correct answer option? Correct answer option is option C. With this, we are coming to an end of the questions that were asked from the logical reasoning section. I hope the questions were clear to all of you. Thank you.